Hi, welcome to another tutorial on Lemon Squid. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple text flicker transition uh, that you can use in your edits or other visuals. Let's just start off by making a new composition. I'm just gonna call it text transitions for the sake of the video. 30 FPS, 10 seconds long. Now you can just create the text you want. I'm just going to type lemon squid if I can type that properly. There we go. I use this tool called the move anchor point tool. Um, you can move the anchor point to the middle of an object or a selection or composition. But you can also press Y on your keyboard. As you can see, I just reset it. Uh, press Y on your keyboard, click it and hold control to uh, snap it to the middle. Then just align it. And what you want to do is drop this down, click animate, click on the opacity option since that's what we want to animate. We want the opacity to start at zero because we want to gradually increase it. I'm just gonna keyframe that here to start. Go to one second, drag this to 100, go into the advanced tab. Uh, smoothness, you want to put this to zero, turn on randomize order, keyframe the random seed, go to one second again, and you can drag this as high as you want, but actually putting this on a higher number than zero will already change this enough. As you can see, you now have a flicker transition. You can also transition this out, so if I want to transition this out I can just move this one to the middle and then put this one on zero again and as you can see it now comes gradually in and goes out again as a flickering transition what you also can do is combine this with a stroke you can just select this layer press ctrl D to duplicate it and then select the bottom layer change it to a stroke and change the random seed amount on both ends and as you can see it now has a stroke in there as well which in my opinion looks pretty good uh, let's get on to the next one now for our next transition we're going to play around with the scale so what i'm going to do is create a new text layer just kind of Call it lemon squid again. Change that to a fill. Got it. Have that selected. There we go. I'm gonna center it out again. All right. I'm gonna bring up the scale. I'm gonna unlink it, and then I'm going to cut it up. There we go. Three will be enough. Actually, let's do four. I'm going to bring up the scale on these bottom four. And then you can go crazy with it. As you can see, I'm now just increasing the size on this one. You can make this a thousand if you'd like. Make this one 600. I'm going to make this 750 now. Make this one 400. There we go. I should probably make this one invisible. There we go. As you can see, this is a really fast transition. As you can see, this is a really flashy transition for text. It allows you to quickly enter text into a scene and also grab it a lot of attention. Let's get on to the next one. This time, we're going to also make use of a stroke. So we're going to make the text again. it out there we go and I'm gonna duplicate it once go to character and switch it up so as you can see this is now just a stroke then I'm gonna select both layers page down control shift D to cut it up there you go and as you can see I'm now going to 
specific bits out of the solid and then I'm going to do the exact same thing do a counter on the stroke then delete this one as you can see you now have a stroke fill flash it's really simple you can also combine this with a scale from a scale down to a scale up perspective and it just makes the scene look really cool overall i really hope these tutorials will help you in the future i plan on making this a series uh, where i showcase you some transitions this can be anything from text to just normal scenes or real life footage if you're interested in following these series you can just subscribe down below and you'll be notified if you click the notification bell and you'll be notified when we have a new upload let me know what you want the next tutorial to go about all right i'll see you next time